Okay, so uh, today class, ang i-discuss ko po sa inyo ngayon ay ang tungkol sa quadratic equation. So, ang ibig sabihin ng quadratic equations, paano mag-convert sa standard form, mag-identify ng, ng A, ng B, at ng C. So, ano ang lahat yun, i-discuss natin so, dito sa video nito. So, quadratic equations. So, una, sige, so let's identify ano-ano ba sa mga sumusunod ang example ng quadratic equations. So, tingnan natin, mabuti. Okay, so kung mapapasin ninyo, ang mga examples dito ng quadratic equations ay ang mga sumusunod. The x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals 0. 9r squared minus 25 equals 0. 1 half x squared plus 3x equals 8. 4m squared plus 4m plus 1 equals 0. t squared minus 70 plus 6 equals 0. And r squared equals 144. So lahat ng ito, lahat ng yan, ng matrix, lahat yan ay example na tinatawag natin quadratic equation. So ano ba ang ibig sabihin talaga ng quadratic equations? So tignan natin. So quadratic equations in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in the following standard form. Ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. So, ang ibig sabihin na itong quadratic equation, yung mahimayin natin, isa-isa. So, sabi, ang quadratic equations ay meron lamang isang variable sa isang equation. It can be x, it can be y, m, r, uh, t, s, whatever it is, basta kinakailangan meron naman siyang isang variable. And at the same time, kinakailangan ang quadratic equations, ang isang equation, ay nakarace into 2 power. Meaning to say, the highest degree must be 2. Kapag hindi 2, hindi na siya considered as quadratic equation. So, patulad ng mga examples natin kanina. So, yan lahat yun. Okay. So, let's proceed. Now, so, let's talk about the standard form of the quadratic equation. So, again, the standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Now, tignan nyo mabuti. So, tatlo ang terms on the left side ng equal sign at 0 naman sa right side ng equation. So, sa isa natin. Ang first term, yung merong ax squared, tinatawag natin siyang quadratic term. Yung merong x squared. Yung nasa middle term, we call that linear term. Linear kasi ang exponent ni x dito ay 1. And the last term is the constant term. Constant dahil number lang siya. Okay, wala siyang kasamang variable. So there you have it. That's the standard form of the quadratic equation where a, the b, and the c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. So meaning to say, sa tatlong letters na yun, ng a, b, and c, na representation ng real numbers, ang b at c pwedeng maging 0, but a should not be equal to 0. So magbibigay ako sa inyo ng halimbawa kung ibig sabihin. I want you to identify, in my example here, I want you to identify the values of the a, the b, and the c. So, Natin. So, una, example, x squared minus 5x plus 3. That is quadratic equations, no doubt about it. Isang variable lang, x, and the highest degree exponent is 2. What is a, what is the b, and what is the c? Now, take a look again on the standard format. Si a, nasa quadratic term, katabi ni x squared. Si b, ay katabi ni x, nasa linear term, linear term, and si c, is a constant number. Wala siyang variable. So, A, of course, there you have it, na underline, is 1. So, bakit 1? Kasi, wala namang number na katabi si, one, si x squared. So, technically, meron siyang uh, invisible na, na 1, which is positive at the same time. So, it's positive 1. Si B naman, yun na, sa linear term, is negative 5, and si C is a positive 3. So, as simple as that. Okay, next example, 9r squared minus 25 equals 0. So, the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. So, a is 9. Meron ba tayong b? Meron mong value for the b? Meron bang linear term? Wala. Technically, technically speaking, wala. So, ano pong ilalagay natin? Siyempre, 0. And the c, siyempre, negative 25. Take note, si negative 25, wala siyang variable. So, that is 
ka constant term. Yun yung technique. Pag, para malaman nyo kung constant term yan, kung si letter C ba yan, wala siyang variable. That's the C. Next example, 1 of x squared plus 3x equals 0. So, what is A, B, and C? A, of course, yung katabi na real number ni x squared. And that is 1 half. So, si B ay positive 3. Meron bang C? Wala. It's 0. So, that's it. Next. So, again, going back to our example a while ago. So, yung mga may checks ay sila yung mga pinasir natin na quadratic equations. But then again, hindi lahat ng quadratic equations ay nakaayos sa tinatawag nating standard format. Katulad nito, 1 half x squared plus 3x equals 8. At nito, the r squared equals 144. They are quadratic equations. But pero hindi nga lang sila naka-standard. Paano natin sila i -re -re write into standard format? I'll give you an example. So, 1 half x squared plus 3x equals 8. So, rewrite lang natin. So, kung titingnan nyo mabuti, para magtawag nating standard format sila, kakayo sila sa standard form, pinakilang yung tatlong terms, quadratic term, linear term, and constant term, ay nasa left side ng equal sign. And on the right side ng equal sign, dapat wala ng term. Kaya nilalagay natin ay 0. Yung 8 na nasa right side, ililipat natin sa left side. So, paano yun? So, lagay natin, 1 of x squared plus 3x Naglagay ako ng counting space. So, si 8, ililipat natin doon sa kat. So, that would be 8. And, and, importante ito. Kapag naglipat tayo ng term from left to right or right to left, laging nagbabago ang sign. Kung ang sign niya nung, nung una is positive, it's negative. Kung ang sign niya is negative, it will be positive number. So, so positive 8 siya. Kung nilipat natin, it will become 8. And, on the right side of equal sign, wala ng terms. So, we write 0. And, that's that's the final answer. Sa pang example, so, 2x squared equals x squared minus 6. So, ganun ulit. Kinakailangan yung nasa right side ng equation, ililipat nyo lang sa kabilang side. Kinakailangan ba sila magpunta? And, ang arrangement dapat mauna si quadratic term, followed by linear term, and then followed by the constant term. So, paano yun? Yung x squared, ilipat sa kabila, and also negative 6, ilipat sa kabila. So, ilipat natin. So, unay natin sa x squared, ilipat natin, it will become negative. Ilipat natin sa 6, it will become positive. And, syempre, wala ng terms on the right side, it will become 0. And there you have it. So, ganun lang, kasimple na mag-transpose at magbago ng mga terms.